Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how you doing out there? My name is Tiberius and today we are going to look inside my range bag. Yes, that is correct. Recently I have had three requests to show everyone what I bring to the range, so I said, alright, let's go. So the one thing that may be different for me than most of you out there, obviously I have to bring a camera and all the gear that goes along with it to the range. So I have a separate bag with tripods, cameras, batteries, memory cards, microphone, whatever else I need to record at the range. Uh, as far as ammo, I keep most of my ammo in these little ammo cans. Depending on how much I'm shooting, I'll bring one or two or three or five to the range. And uh, this, this is a Uplula mag looter, speed loader. This is the most valuable tool out of everything else I have. This is my favorite. If I'm going to forget something, this would be the least favorite thing for me to forget. If you're loading hundreds of rounds, um, especially um, uh, with metal magazines, these things are priceless. Um, I'm going to put a bunch of links in the description of the video. There's going to be a ton of stuff down there. As many things as I can link, I will. So if you guys um, want to get more information about the Maglula or anything else I'm going to go over, check out the links in the description. Most of them will be Amazon affiliate links, so it will help us out a little bit and you won't pay any more. Uh, as far as targets, I usually keep some larger rolled up targets. These right now are FBIQ targets. And then as far as smaller eight and a half by 11 targets, I have this uh, half of a paper box and I keep tons of different paper targets in that box ready to go. Uh, I have Bear Solutions targets in here, uh, Rune Nation, Haley Strategic, Dot Torture, um, T-Rex Arms, there's a bunch of different targets ready to go. Now as far as the actual range bag itself, I highly suggest you get something very high quality, whether that be a Vertex bag, Grey Ghost, Voodoo Tactical, whatever. There's hundreds, even 511 of, uh, maybe not hundreds, but there's dozens of good high quality bags. Uh, buy once, cry once, don't buy a cheap bag and have to replace it a month from now. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. As you know, I am not the biggest YouTube channel. Uh, I am not the best shooter, I am not the funniest, I'm not the most handsome, but what I am, am I am by far the cheapest. I can guarantee you there is not another YouTube channel out there that is as cheap as I am. And I tell you that because this range bag is made by Safari Land. It is high quality, it's not uh, junk by any, any means, uh, but I got it for free. And that's why I tell you that I am so incredibly cheap because uh, I only rock this bag because it was free. I'm going to start at one end and work my way across the bag and show you what's in. Uh, timer, shot timer. I don't use these a lot, but it is good to gauge performance. I use them more just as some, uh, as a sound to start shooting. Uh, but if you are shooting a specific drill, a lot of them do have par times. And there are some benefits to shooting with the timer. Um, just don't use them exclusively. Uh, also in this side pocket, um, there's going to be... Uh, my business cards for work, I am in sales and I always keep business cards on me. I also have a bunch of extra Enforce lights. If you guys don't know, I work for Enforce, I sell Enforce lights. I am the sales director, so having extra lights to demo and business cards for me is an absolute necessity. Uh, finally in this bag, this is my battery compartment. I have CR2s, CR123s, 18650s, a uh, 9 volt battery for the uh, shock timer, and just uh, the, N, uh, the N3 battery for the Aimpoint Pro. You name it, whatever batteries I may need as I'm dropping them all on the ground, uh, I have those extra batteries in there ready to go. So that is one side pocket. Moving on to the front pocket, mostly eyes and ears in this pocket. Um, I've done a video on these before. These are the Walker Silencer Air Pro. I am absolutely in love with these. I use these at the gym, at the range, listen to music, airplanes constantly. Best Air Pro I've ever bought. They're not cheap. They're $200, $250 for the Bluetooth versions, but I'm so happy I invested in these. I have got my money's worth a hundred times over. Uh, as far as eyes that I normally wear, I've been rocking these ESS uh, Eye Pro for a while now. Um, it comes with a tinted set of lenses that you see me use most of the time because the sun gives me a, a headache very easily. 
I have some extra foamies in this case. And then it also comes with a clear lens and then a tinted kind of copper colored lens, um, or yellowish, but I prefer the dark tinted ones. Uh, also in here I have extra earbuds and accessories for my ear pro, little, um, the part that goes inside your ear. I have an extra set of eyes and ears just in case. I have another set of uh, passive in-ear ear protection, um, Surefire Defenders. And then last but not least, in this bag I have pens and markers and everyone's favorite pen. You guys know, don't lie, those are the best pens ever. Red, green, black, and uh, uh, blue. I still love those pens from when I was in school, no question. All right, let me stick everything back in here and we will move on to the main compartment. All right, in here, I have a bunch of gloves. Right now, uh, one pair of gloves. Sometimes it's hatch gloves, mechanics gloves. There's always at least a thin pair and a thick pair. It gets cold in Rhode Island, especially in the winter, and I'm a wuss, so I keep uh, a couple pairs of gloves. I have some tools in here. Not only do I have a set of Allen wrenches, I have a multi-purpose uh, set of tools, uh, Allen wrenches, screwdrivers, torque bits, you name it. And then inside that case, I keep a Glock tool. The Glock punch is very, very handy for a lot of different things. Uh, <laughs> For some reason, I have a Nerf dot from my son. He must have threw the Nerf dot in my range bag. Um, I happen to have some flags in here. I don't use them, but some of the ranges I go to require them. I don't keep many magazines and um, uh, firearms in this bag, but I always keep my H&K VP9 mags in this bag because 99% of the time, I'm either carrying a VP9 or a VP9 SK and I keep the, mag the extra magazines in this bag just so I have them ready to go. Um, this pouch over here on the side, um, this bag has two pouches for firearms. I sometimes will keep one firearm in here. The other side, I don't keep firearms because I keep a staple and a staple gun hanging up targets. I also keep a tape measure that I've actually used quite a bit. And then in here is some uh, breakthrough clean. Oh, that glare is bad, guys, huh? Breakthrough clean, uh, cleaner, and lube, just so I have a little extra, and some gloves. I'll tell you, between the lead that get on, gets on your hands and the uh, cleaner and stuff, you don't, you don't want that stuff on your hands and, and uh, God forbid, anywhere near your face. So I wear uh, rubber gloves. I try to remember to wear rubber gloves when I clean guns or take them apart or anything. Uh, and this last pouch over here, this is going to be kind of a medical pouch. Um, now, these are not my primary medical kits. Uh, you will never, never come across me. Anybody, if you ever meet me, feel free to ask me, where's your tourniquet? And I guarantee you, I have at least one tourniquet on me at all times. So my primary tourniquet will either be on my ankle or on my battle belt. Worst case, sometimes in my back pocket like it is today. But I always have these as extra kits, um, just in case. Just a couple extra, never hurt. I'd rather be overly prepared. This is a VanQuest bag that I also got for free, is why I use it. Uh, this one's cool, you just kind of pull the tab and it opens up. In all of my range bags, you'll see some tourniquets, rubber gloves, and some sort of way of uh, slowing down a bleed, whether it be quick clot or cell locks or, or something in there as well. Uh, this particular uh, has some rubber gloves, a SWAT tourniquet, a rat tourniquet, I know, rat tourniquet, don't, make fun of me too bad and then it has cell locks uh, this one here has quick clot uh, an H bandage uh, uh, quick uh, quick clot H bandage SWAT tourniquet and a cat tourniquet sorry total brain freeze and then on my on, on my kit I'll always have at least one cat tourniquet and then when I'm just hanging out at the house like today I just throw a SWAT tourniquet in my back pocket don't think there's anything else in this pocket. Actually, I have another tourniquet, a Sam, hang on, let me see, I'll get the name of it for you. A TMT tourniquet that my buddy gave me. And uh, I always have some hand warmers 
Again, if you've seen any of my videos, sometimes it gets cold. It's like 10, 20 degrees out there and I'm shooting. I'll slip those in my pocket and uh, it makes a very, very big difference. Um, that's it in my range bag. Obviously, I'll, I'll keep another bag with firearms and magazines. Uh, but that's for the most part, that's all I take with me to the range. Uh, sometimes in the car I'll have steel, of course, whether it be a dueling tree or just some steel. But 90% of the time, this is all I really need. Now, if I'm going to an all-day training class, or if I'm taking new shooters to the range or helping somebody qualify for their concealed carry permit, which is pretty difficult in Rhode Island, I have a much larger trunk that's on wheels. Um, I will bring that to the range. So we're going to step outside because I can't really bring this trunk in this room and uh, We'll take a look at what I keep inside that trunk now as you can see we are in my backyard now I apologize if any wind or chickens or dogs or kids mess up the shot in the sound uh, I'll do my best to keep it as quiet as possible. This is my rolled case. Obviously it's on wheels It's got a big handle. It is really really good if you're uh, taking new shooters to the range going to spend the whole day at the range for some reason and definitely if you're going to an all-day training class this always comes with me for all-day training classes uh, the top tray here lifts right off and you can even store it right there I don't know why this isn't staying open normally it does there we go so inside this side tray here let me actually bring it back so I can show you uh, I have another pair of gloves uh, I have several blue guns, orange guns, green guns, whatever you want to call them for new shooters. These are invaluable when you're just teaching someone grip and stance and trigger control for the first time. Uh, also in here, I have a bunch of dummy rounds. A bunch of 9, 380, 223. Teaching people malfunctions, these help. In this compartment here, I have some more lube, some more tools, punches, uh, pliers, I don't know why, a lock, punch set, all the tools that I might need and even some uh, Loctite. Who doesn't love Loctite? Uh, this side here is kind of my boo-boo kit in a way. I have uh, sunblock, <laughs> more hand warmers, gloves, a plethora of band-aids here, some tissue paper and some uh some sunblock bald head sun you know in this larger compartment here this is a box of all cleaning it has push rods and clean rods uh more gloves lube punches bore snakes uh my tactical toothbrush anything like that is inside this box right here uh, i have a bunch of ar-15 extra magazines extra magazine pop and in this something that's somewhat unique I love using the spray glue to hang up targets staples is fine uh, but as long as it's not too 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 cold the spray glue works fantastic we also have some duct tape in here cuz why not extra set of ears an extra sling and some rope. I use the rope to hang up targets, hang up steel. Uh, I've had obsession with shooting water and stuff lately. Don't know why. Big jugs of water, fun to shoot. Um, and then also inside here, depending on where I'm going and what I'm doing, I will put my battle belt in there, my plate carrier, ammo, the firearms themselves. I can put everything I need right in that one case, lock it if I'm going through uh, Massachusetts or any other state, and uh, like Connecticut, and I will be good to go. So what do you guys think of my range bag? Is there anything I missed? Is there any holes in my gear that I bring to the range? Something that you bring that I should add to my kit? Sign off in the comments, let me know. Like I said earlier, there will be some links in the descriptions. If you wanna get more information, check anything out, feel free to check out the links. I will tag as many things as I can. Thank you very, very much for watching my reviews. It is truly, truly appreciated. Hook a brother up with a quick like and go ahead and click that subscribe button. This way you get notified when we come out with new videos. I will see you all next time. Peace.